Hello everybody, welcome to today's video about cue points. When do we use a cue point? Well, for example, you're in an offside situation at a soccer match. We're going through the operational settings and we're going to show you step by step how to freeze on a cue point. So, let's go! One of the specific ways of using a cue point is freezing on a cue point. For example, when we want to replay an offside situation. The behavior of the cue points are defined by a set of configuration parameters that can be found in the operational setup menu, page 2.2 and 2.3. The parameters we need to check for our offside replays are mark cue points and freeze on cue points. The first parameters we need to check is mark cue points. When set to live, the cue point is added to the timecode currently displayed on the live inputs. When set to playback, the cue point is added to the timecode currently displayed on the PGM output. In this specific example, we want to mark our cue points in playback mode since we will mark a specific frame in time, the moment the offensive player gives the pass that triggers the offside situation. In most cases, an offside replay will be shown immediately after the live situation, so we will be working directly on our record train. Make sure that freeze on cue point is set to record trains. With the parameters configured correctly, we are ready to roll an offside replay. As soon as we see the offside, we jog back to the exact frame where the offensive player kicks the ball and triggers the offside situation. We place our cue point by pressing the mark key and jog back to cue our replay for playout. We can start our playout by pressing the play key or by moving the lever. Once we reach our cue point, the playout will freeze. Keep it frozen for a few seconds so we can analyze the situation. Continue your playout by pressing the play key or by moving the lever. 